So just what is a weather bomb? Well, actually, first and foremost, it's quite simply an area of low pressure, but we see those all the time. So what makes certain low pressure systems that much more special? Well, to be a weather bomb, it has to be really intensifying, really deepening, and that deepening process has to happen rapidly, so much so that we need to see a drop in the central pressure by 24 millibars in 24 hours for it to qualify as a weather bomb. Now, Doris is a prime example of such a phenomenon. Uh, at midday on Wednesday, just a, an area of cloud, really, the storm just forming well out in the Atlantic. The central pressure, 1,004 millibars. But what happened with Doris? Well, we need to look high up in the atmosphere towards the jet stream, a powerful jet digging down. And where we've got this little kink in the jet stream, well, that became an area where Doris really intensified, running through the sequence. Look at the satellite picture now. Just look at that low pressure system really forming. And then as the storm approached the UK, the isobar is just popping out of the center as Doris really continued to intensify. So that by midday on Thursday, the storm was down to 974 millibars, a drop of 30 millibars in 24 hours. That's what creates the number of isobars. And it's those tightly packed isobars that drive the strong and damaging winds that we've been seeing. So Storm Doris, a classic example of a weather bomb. For more information on the weather warnings and all our latest forecasts, visit the Met Office online.